Hi, this is Shubham from Monist View and today in this podcast we are going to discuss about alternative investments. What is the meaning of alternative investment? What are the features, different types, bottom line? But before starting this podcast, if you want to read the full article about this, then the link of our article is provided in description. Also, if you want to watch a quick summary video of less than 90 seconds, then subscribe to our YouTube channel Monist View. So let's discuss about alternate investment. The first question is what is an alternative investment? An alternative investment is an asset that is not one of the conventional investment types such as stock, bonds and cash. Firstly, most alternative investment assets are held by institutional investor or accredited high net worth individual because of a complex nature and limited regulations of an investment. Secondly, alternative investment Investment includes private equity, hedge funds, managed futures, real estate, commodities, and derivative contracts. Now, let's discuss what are the main features of an alternative investment. The first feature is high fees. Being a specific nature product, the transaction fees are quite higher side. Second feature is limited historical rate. The data for historic return and risk is very limited where the data for equity markets for more than 100 years is available. The third feature is illiquidity. The illiquidity of an alternative investment is not good as next buyer not be easily available due to a limited market participants. The fourth feature is a less transparency. The level of transparency Transparency is not adequate due to a limited public information available. Fifth feature is an extensive research requirement. Due to a limited availability of a market information, the extensive analysis is required by the portfolio manager. Sixth and last feature is a leverage buying. Generally, investment in alternative investment are highly leveraged. Now, let's discuss what are the different types of alternative investments are available. The first one is a mutual fund. A mutual fund is a type of an investment vehicle consisting of a portfolio of a stock, bonds or other security. Mutual fund gives small or individual investor access to diversified professionally managed portfolio at a low price. Mutual funds are divided into several kinds of a category representing the kinds of a security they invest in, their investment objective and the type of a return they seek. Second type of alternative investment option available is a real estate. Buying and owning a real estate is an investment strategy that can be a both satisfying as well as lucrative. Unlike stock and bonds investors, prospective real estate owners can use a leverage to buy a property by paying a portion of a total cost of front and then paying off the balance plus interest over the time. The third investment option available is ETF, exchange traded fund. An exchange traded fund ETF is a basket of security that trades on exchange just like a stock does. ETF share price fluctuation all day as the ETF is bought and sold. This is a different from from a mutual fund which only trade once a day after the market closes. The fourth option available is a private equity. Private equity refers to a capital investment made into companies that are not publicly traded. Most PE firms are open to accredited investors or those who are deemed high net worth and successful PE managers can earn millions of dollars a year. The fifth investment option available is a hedge fund. Hedge funds are financial partnerships that use pool funds and employ different strategies to earn active returns for their investors. These funds may be managed aggressively or make use of a derivative and leverage to generate higher returns. Hedge fund strategies include long as well as short equity markets, neutral volatile arbitrage and merger arbitrage as well. They are generally only accessible to a very high net worth individuals. The sixth investment option available is a closely held company. Closely held company is a publicly listed corporation or unlisted corporation that has a small number of concentrated shareholders. Trading in these shares is dominated by company insiders and they tend to quite liquidate these infrequent moves under volume. Closely held companies are at less risk of a wholesale takeover since in obtaining a controlling interest through equity would be a very difficult. The seventh option available is a distressed securities. Distressed securities are the securities issued by a company 
company that in near to or in the midst of a bankruptcy the company may also have a breach convenience which is frequently precursor to the bankruptcy itself certain high risk investors sometimes know as a hawk are willing to invest in distressed security in the hope of making a quick money eighth investment option available is a commodities commodities that are traded are typically sorted into four categories broadly metal energy livestock meat and agriculture for investors commodity can be an important way to diversify their portfolio beyond the traditional securities in most basic sense commodities are known as a risky investment propositions because their markets is impacted by uncertainties that are difficult or impossible to predict such as unusual weather pattern epidemic disaster both natural as well as human made there are number of ways to invest in commodities such as a future contract options and etf the ninth investment option available as a alternative investment is a managed futures managed futures are alternative investment consisting of a portfolio of a future contract that are actively managed by a professional large funds and institutional investment frequently use managed futures as an alternative or a traditional hedge funds to achieve both portfolio and market diversification two common approaches for trading managed futures are the market neutral strategy and trend following strategy the tenth investment option available is mezzanine finance mezzanine financing is a way of companies to raise the fund for a specific project or aid for acquisition through a hybrid debt and equity financing model it is also used to provide the fund to a similar mutual fund that offer same services to high qualified businesses this type of financing can provide more generous returns to investor compared to a typical corporate bond offer play 20 to 12% return based on various factors now let discuss what is the bottom line over here the alternative investment is a non conventional investment approach for institutional investor or accredited high net worth individual which include private equity hedge funds managed fund real estate commodity and derivative contracts if you want to read full article about this in the link of article is provided in description also if you want to watch a quick summary video of less than 90 seconds about alternative investment then subscribe to our youtube channel monist thank you guys for joining with us over here shubham from monist news signing off